Cavani. Chance for Cavani. Oh, we worked the dribbling there. Let's go. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new flashback Cavani car to review today. So we're taking a look at a card that is six foot one, high, high work rates, right footed, three star skills with a four star weak foot. Very unfortunate he doesn't have the four-star skills because, to be honest, in this game, it's definitely very, very helpful to have. Um, in regards to his in-game player traits, he has the injury-prone trait and the power header trait. Uh, in games, he's got 85 acceleration with 90 sprint speed. We're going to go ahead and give him the engine chemistry style because his base card stats for shooting is already very good. But we also need to boost the dribbling, balance, and agility on the card as much as possible, right? Uh, with shooting on the card, he has 96 attacking positioning with 93 finishing, 94 for shot power. 92 for volleys at 86 composure so definitely very good shooting stats to work with for this game very unfortunate is that he doesn't have any of the um, good player traits like outside foot shot or the finesse shot but we'll definitely work with it right so for passing stats on this card base card stats wise as well definitely very nice because with the engine chemistry style he'll definitely be very usable up top uh in regards to passing to different players uh dribbling 82 80 85 for dribbling at 86 composure we do want to improve that as much as possible um with cavani i don't expect to be able to uh, fix his dribbling that much because I think it's going to be like a base characteristic of his uh, because he is a six foot one player with a unique body type. So the unique body type could actually save it a little bit in regards to more responsive dribbling. But I do think that Cavani is a pretty big dude in game. So I have to see um, if that's actually going to be the case because it's obviously going to make a huge deal. I'm curious to see how that high, high work rate works with the 96 attacking positioning in regards to how he moves across the pitch. Because for me personally, I'm not crazy about strikers that have the high, high work rate unless they are playing with somebody else next to them, right? So it's definitely going to be something that we have to take a look at, right? Uh, In-game, he's got 89 heading accuracy, which is weird, to be honest. It should definitely be higher. Um, I know heading's not like a good, like a crazy good way of scoring this year, but... Obviously, it'd be nice to give him that, right? Uh, he's got 91 for stamina, 84 for strength, that 87 aggression. To be fair, if you want to use this card for fun in the cam position, you definitely could as well. You'd probably just have to work with the dribbling a little bit more as well, right? So, um, okay. So, the way that we're going to be using this card is we are, you know, just going to use a 3-5-2 as we normally do. We're going we're gonna to use some crazy tactics. Let's do some long ball stuff. Players in the box. Set to f we'll do 6-6. Six and six. Force the attacking AI to the player here. And then what we'll do is we'll play him up top. Hyungmin's son's going to be playing over here. Perfect. And then we have the rest of the team set up as is. The only instruction that we usually use for these types of guys is stay forward. So we'll do that for Hyungmin's son as well. So stay forward for the two stragglers. Stay forward for the cam. And then the rest of it is... Pretty default from what we'd normally do, to be honest. So, yeah, we'll use him as a right striker because uh, I want to see what he's like getting on his left foot because it could still potentially be decent. Um, but, yeah, let's get into some games and uh, see how he plays. Oh, this guy actually has a really cool team. I mess with this hardcore, actually. That's dope. The Suarez with Herrera there. And then he got, like, Wayne Rooney. Well, Wayne Rooney on seven is a little bit weird, but it's a cool team. I mess with it. All right, let me see your dribbling first. Yeah, so you do have to work with it a little bit, of course. Because he is a pretty big dude in-game. Lengthy. Very lengthy. Cards like this is definitely super ideal to use them next to somebody else, but... We'll see how he holds his own. Little touch-and-go movements right there. Ball roll. Get the pass off there. Little layoff here. Fake shot. The lack of four-star skills is a little bit annoying for sure, but... Oh, he's giving me that space there, man. There we go, Cavani. We started that run initially so that he can kind of get into that space quickly so we can work with the right mid there. Um, and he scores that opportunity. I'll be honest with you guys, man. You definitely have to work with the... Uh, the dribbling a lot. It's definitely something you definitely have to work with for sure. Oh man, I wish he had like the physical at least to be able to push his way through over there, but... Cavani. 
Oh, we missed that opportunity. No shot. No shot. Thought I would actually be able to score those for sure. Oh, we worked the dribbling there. Let's go. Just regular left stick dribbling there, boys. Regular left stick dribbling. It's it's definitely hard to work with. The, the lack of skill moves definitely sucks for sure, but we're making it work, man. Oh my goodness. I was like, you know what? He's got the heading ability. Let's try it. <laughs> Oh, he actually gave me a penalty there. What the heck? Okay. Yo, Cavani, do you have penalties? He has 91 penalties. Do you, do you move if I put you over here? Hey, it was a little bit. Good pen, good pen. We'll definitely take those. Thank you very much. Ooh, we get the chip shot off. We get the chip shot off. I seen the goalie coming, so I was like, you know what? Gotta get the spacing there. Hit that goalie that he has actually raises his arm right there. So I don't know what he's using in the net, but it's definitely an obvious animation there. Oh, I want to try a finesse shot with his left foot right there. It doesn't come off great. It's obviously like a floater, but you try it, you try it. First time? There you go, Cavani. Nicely done. Nice little one-two play right there. Oh! Bro, my shooting button literally just disappeared. <laughs> it, just, it just disappeared. I shot the ball and he was like, nah. Oh my goodness, dude. At least he moved into that empty space there on the side. That was definitely helpful, actually. Oh, we get that angle there with Cavani. Hey, at least he positions himself well on the 18 right there to score that. At least. With cards like this, they definitely don't fit the um, quote-unquote meta criteria of FIFA. You have to use them more in an authentic way. So sentimental value FC, stuff like that, right? Uh, because he's a physical type striker with a high, high work rate. You kind of have to work that into your team. It's one of those types of SBCs for sure. First time. Oh, he hit the crossbar. Too much power. No. That would have been a sick goal, too. Oh, I just wanted to work a space there, too. Go for that first time. There we go. We worked that near post angle right there. We'll take that. His attacking AI is like, it's okay. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Because usually with high, high worker to players, guys, they don't really move that much. I wouldn't say that he moves in like a meta way, you know, in the way that he like utilizes empty space. But it's like doable, you know. <laughs> That's a low, low, low percentage strike for me there with Cavani. But, you know, on his weak foot, just want to try it out. There we go, Cavani. Nicely done. Get that shot cancel off. Dribble was a little bit tough to work there, you know, just to get inside, but made it work. Oh, no, I try to get the chip there. Those passes really suck in this game, man. It shouldn't have been weighted that badly. Oh, I want to try a shot from that angle. This guy has stopped playing. He's probably going to leave after this shot. But boom! Finesse shot. Ah. <laughs> oh, he's still playing. Word. Oh! Yes, Cavani. Hey. At least he utilized that empty space well. I, I expect him to at least do that. <laughs> 
All right, guys, so final verdict on this flashback Edison Cavani card. So we ended up giving him the engine chemistry style because our aim was to improve his dribbling as much as possible while giving him some pace and some passing stats. Uh, the reason why we wanted to do this is because of the six foot one height and the unique body type that he has, right? So with the engine chemistry style, guys, you can't really fix the dribbling. That's just something that you're going to have to work with from a base characteristic of the card. Um, the pace is definitely a nice thing to have, but it's not like he always does aggressive runs anyways. So it's not necessarily a big deal to have, right? Uh, with shooting on the card, you know, with stats like this, you will be able to score the high percentage strikes, right? Obviously, if it's like at a 70 or 80% uh, strike percentage, it's not necessarily going to be the best uh, because of, you know, other variables of the card with the dribbling and the composure and stuff, right? Uh, but with this card, obviously, in my opinion, you want to use him more in an authentic way than in a FIFA way, right? Like he doesn't really fit the quote unquote meta criteria of this game of at least being like good at dribbling with a pace and shooting and all that kind of stuff, right? So you kind of have to aim to use him more in an authentic way, right? Being able to use him as a target man oriented striker, uh, as a person who's going to be the physical dude in your team that'll be able to lay off to other people. You know, if you were to line up in like a 4-2-3-1, he's your lone striker, but your entire play kind of revolves around getting that one pass through to him where he could just shoot or or, you know, kind of revolving the play around the other three attacking uh, oriented players or the other four attacking oriented players, depending on what formation that you're using. We were using him in a two striker formation, and uh, it definitely helped out a little bit more because obviously he's playing next to somebody else that's a little bit more agile and fits the meta of the game more. So we can kind of fit him, fit him in uh, like that. His attacking AI is decent. It's not good or great because of the high, high work rates that he has with the attacking positioning. For me personally, high, high work rates usually don't really work that well uh, for me in the striker position position so a little bit strange there as well so it's one of those cards guys that for me definitely joins sentimental value fc doesn't really fit uh the gameplay this year but you can use them in an authentic way if you choose to get this card so in my opinion definitely a card you get mostly for sentimental value but was he fun to use because it was edison cavani sure obviously with the uh with that in play you guys know how i am it's always fun to use cards in that way but uh just doesn't really fit the gameplay this year so Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.